Noon tonight, we're recapping some of the attractions the Gulf Coast had to offer this year from beaches to entertainment and of course Mardi Gras 2023 was booming year for our area. Our Lacey Beasley compiled a list of events and attractions and let's just say uh, there's too many to count. Yeah, Lee, there was a lot of fun happening this year. According to USA Today, Mobile was ranked number two in the country for the best travel destinations of 2023. Well, the proof is in the pudding. Here's just a few reasons why we love Mobile and the Gulf Coast. Yeah, Beaches, sand, and sun. There's no better place to be than on the Gulf Coast in the blazing hot summer. <laughs> including the Floribama's annual mullet toss. Each year bringing in thousands of dollars for local charities. All by tossing a slimy fish across the state line. <laughs> From shore to sea, you cannot miss Dauphin Island's deep sea fishing rodeo. This year, a record breaking 1,019 pound tiger shark reeled in, catching the eye of the nation. Normal fishing technique, you know, we went out and caught our bait yesterday. The Gulf Coast is notoriously remembered as Jimmy Buffett's old stomping grounds. This year, thousands coming out to downtown Mobile to honor his life and music with the second line parade. He left a big impact on us. And the port city is growing fast this year, becoming Alabama's second largest city, reaching over 200,000 residents. We're bigger than Birmingham. And with that comes some expansion. Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson announcing proposed plans for a Riverwalk Plaza near the waterfront downtown for entertainment, dining, and hotels. Chugging back into the port city, the infamous Carnival Cruise Line returns after a year-long pause. Well, actually, it's kind of crazy. We weren't expecting it, but it was a lot of fun. Plus, after a year of construction, Top Golf opening its bays at McGowan Park. In Africa Town, Clotilda, the exhibition opens to the public, showcasing the stories of the 110 slaves brought to Mobile in the last known U.S. slave ship. Fairhope, drawing the attention of some Hollywood glamour. A Hulu series called Love and Fairhope follows the lives of people searching for love in a dreamy city. Some of the stars visiting our Fox 10 studios this year. The journey is my story, and it is separation, mm. divorce, co-parenting. And last, but certainly not least. Happy Mardi Gras, everybody. The birthplace of Mardi Gras, the hometown of the Moon Pie, where the good times always roll. <laughs> hey, <yeah! laughs> Mardi Gras in Mobile is a must. And of course, this only scrapes the surface of all the fun along the Gulf Coast, not to mention the three football state champions, Gulf Shores, Leroy and Mobile Christian. A Stephen King movie was filmed downtown and a newly renovated Bienville Square is hopefully coming soon. There's a lot to look forward to in 2024. Reporting in studio, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.